Hi, this is Elvis Cup Guy. This video, uh, I'm going to show the differences between the various Elvis or having fun with Elvis on stage. Uh, what I've got here are a couple different versions. The first version was actually put out by Colonel Parker on the Boxcar label, and it was uh, to be sold at Elvis concerts, appearances, Las Vegas uh, appearances. And the reason Colonel Parker did this is because RCA owned the rights to Elvis's singing voice. But through the loophole, uh, he had a little angle where he kind of argued the fact that, the, well, they owned the uh, rights to Elvis's singing voice, but they did not own, he, uh, RCA did not own the right to Elvis's talking voice. So, what I'm going to show you first is, oh, by the way, it's playing in the background there, but this is the boxcar version. I'll go ahead and take it out of the sleeve off of it. But as you can see, it says, uh, having fun with Elvis on stage, and it's on the boxcar label. Now, like I said, I'm going to show the differences between the boxcar version and the RCA release. A talking album only. Boxcar, somebody's written on it there. And you can see about the rest of the album looks about the same as the RCA release. If you look closely at the back, you can see basically the same. But it does say uh, Boxcar Records on it. And it does say executive producer for this recording project, Elvis Presley. So, now I'm going to compare it to the RCA release on the outside. Let me take it out of the sleeve. There's the RCA release. Talking album only, but notice it says RCA as opposed to saying Boxcar. The rest of the album is basically the same. You turn it around to the back, the RCA version has the little fine print down the bottom. That says, uh, you know, 1974 RCA Records. But the boxcar version just says 1974 boxcar uh, enterprises, Madison, Tennessee, which is where uh, Colonel Parker's office was. So, side by side comparison of the RCA and the boxcar. And then there's the back of the two. Now I'm going to compare the, uh, the, the actual records themselves. So first of all, and I'll start with the boxcar because it was first. Interestingly, interestingly enough, it had the original uh, RCA inner sleeve in it to advertise his other albums. So, like I said, this is the boxcar. It feels like it's on Dynaflex because it's real flexible. But as you can see here, it says Boxcar Records, 1974 Boxcar Enterprises, Madison, Tennessee. Talking album only. And then flip it around. Talking album only. And then there's the inner sleeve that it came with. Now, this is the RCA release. See, it's got inner sleeve, inner sleeve. Let's 
say, get out. And it's on the RCA label. It says a talking album only. And it gives the time on each side. Okay. So, that's how that looks. Now, the reason that uh, they stopped making the boxcar and they went to RCA is RCA kind of got upset that Colonel Parker was doing this. And, you know, there's some controversy. Did Colonel Parker know this anyway and put this thing out just to force RCA to buy him out and to buy Elvis out so they could actually make money off of this release? Or did Colonel Parker really think that RCA would put up with this and actually allow him to continue selling these at concerts and personal appearances? You know, I guess we'll ever know. Uh, there's some people that think that, hey, he thought he was going to do it and just keep selling these. And then there's some people that actually think, nah, his plan all along was to have RCA buy him out. But the album actually charted and uh, even though RCA bought the rights to it, they continued to leave it in their catalog and it was still printed way after um, Elvis's death. So it was a popular album. I know I had it probably in 75. Mine was a tan label, which was a little later release than the orange label. Uh, but I played mine all the time. I really enjoyed it. So, anyway, that is the difference between the different uh, versions of the Elvis uh, having come on stage. You've got the boxcar, you've got the RCA, and then this one is another RCA one I have. Very, it's almost the same. I think the, the printing's a little darker on this one, so I do have three copies of it, and I also have it on 8-track tape, okay, honey, I'll do that but uh, I'll end with the boxcar on the front, but anyway, thank you for watching, and I don't know how well the audio turned out, but you can actually hear it, I'm playing in the background, so if you ever wondered the difference between the Elvis having fun on stage with Elvis albums, the boxcar, version and the RCA version mainly it's the label the box car and then where it says RCA or box car on it and it doesn't mention RCA on the uh, box car edition but other than that they are almost identical so that was a cup guy. Thanks for watching.